Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in today's video, I'm speaking about Joachim Piper. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and drop me a comment below. Joachim Piper was born on January 30th, 1915 in Berlin Wilmersdorf in a Silesian family. His father, Waldemar Piper, was a Hauptmann serving in the First World War in Turkey and after the war he thought against Polish insurgents and the Upper Silesian uprisings that took place from the year 1919 until 1921. When Joachim Piper graduated school in the year 1933, he joined the Hitler Youth like his brother Horst. In October of the same year, Joachim also joined the Schutzstaffel SS. In the year 1935, he attended the SS Junkerschule in Braunschweig that trained SS members to become leaders, for example, in the Waffen-SS. Piper also participated in a military leadership course at the Leibstandarte SS Adolf Hitler Tank Division in 1935. While in training, Piper was deemed egocentric, with a negative attitude which could make him a difficult subordinate and or an arrogant superior. Once Joachim Piper graduated the SS Junker School in the beginning of the year 1936, he was transferred to a unit in the 1st SS Panzer Division Leibstandarte SS Adolf Hitler. Almost two years later, Joachim Piper also became a member in the NSDAP, the National Socialist German Workers' Party. In the same year, 1938, Joachim Piper got married to Sigurd Hinrichsen, whom he had three children with. He also became an SS staff officer and adjutant to Reichsführer SS Heinrich Himmler. With the beginning of the Second World War in Europe, when the Wehrmacht invaded Poland, Piper accompanied Himmler while traveling to visit the generals at the front lines. In this occupation, they visited executions of potential Polish partisans as well as mass killing of mentally ill patients. Before Joachim Piper saw combat action during the West Campaign of 1940, he inspected concentration camps with Heinrich Himmler earlier that year. As a platoon leader in the tank division Leibstandarte SS Adolf Hitler, he was awarded the Iron Cross Second Class for capturing a French artillery battery at the hills of Wattenberg. By the end of this campaign, the SS Hauptsturmführer, equivalent to the rank of Hauptmann in the Wehrmacht, was also awarded the Iron Cross First Class and returned to his role of an adjutant to Heinrich Himmler. In June 1941, when Operation Barbarossa began, Joachim Piper accompanied Himmler, by now as his first adjutant, inspecting the war crimes of the SS Einsatzgruppen that killed Jews. Soviet commissars, and other by the Nazi regime unwanted groups. Before Piper took over the 11th company in the 1st SS Panzer Division Leibstandarte Adolf Hitler while they fought in the Southern Soviet Union at the Black Sea. During their time in Vichy France, in the following year where the division was transitioned into an SS Panzer Grenadier Division, Joachim Piper was promoted to, to commander of the 3rd Battalion. When the SS Panzergrenadier Division returned to the Eastern Theater in January 1943, it participated in the 3rd Battle of Kharkov that helped stabilizing the southern part of the Eastern Front. When the SS men re-entered the village of Krasnaya Polyana, they found 25 injured Germans whom had been left behind had been killed by the Soviets. Joachim Piper ordered to burn down the entire village as an act of revenge. For his role in the Battle of Kharkov, he was awarded the German Cross in gold as well as the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross in early 1943. After Operation Citadel, where German troops tried to encircle Red Army troops and the Kursk salient failed, Piper's unit was transferred to northern Italy after the Allied invasion in Italy caused it to leave the Axis. In September 1943, 
The Kampfgruppe Piper encountered a partisan attack at the commune of Boves, which left one member of the Waffen-SS unit dead and led to the capture of two German Waffen-SS soldiers. Under the threat of the destruction of the commune, the members of the resistance released the hostages. After the successful release of his men, Joachim Piper ordered to execute 24 men and a woman. Piper was transferred to the Eastern Front once more, where he assumed command of the 1st SS Panzer Regiment, which at this time was fighting in Ukraine. His brutal and overconfident leadership led to an immense loss of Waffen-SS soldiers. After only one month of his leadership, the regiment only had 12 tanks left. Therefore, he was relieved of his command and was reassigned to staff duty. In January 1944, he received the Oak Leafs to his Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross by the German dictator himself. In June of the same year, 1944, Joachim Piper, now as as Obersturmbannführer, equivalent to the rank of Oberstleutnant in the Wehrmacht, fought with Kampfgruppe Piper against the Allied landing forces in Normandy. When the US Army destroyed every single tank of his unit, Joachim Piper suffered a nervous breakdown and was relieved of his command in August 1944. During the Battle of the Bulge, Joachim Piper was once more in command of the Kampfgruppe Piper with King Tiger tanks and the Waffen-SS unit, went into the offensive, where his men, on December 17, 1944, committed the Malmedy Massacre, where the German troops captured American soldiers and executed most of the prisoners of war. In the following days, Piper's men killed more American prisoners of war and civilians in Belgium, totaling more than 360 prisoners of war and more than 110 civilians. The then offensive ultimately failed after American troops were able to reorganize themselves and with improved weather, the Allied air superiority allowed the destruction of many German vehicles out of the air. Piper's unit, already depleted of fuel, was cut off from supplies and on Christmas Eve 1944, Piper made the decision to leave the vehicles behind and march back to the German lines. He was awarded the swords of his, to his Knights Cross of the Iron Cross in January 1945. Joachim Piper experienced the final days of the war while fighting with his battle group in Hungary. He ignored the order on May 8, 1945 to surrender to American troops and instead tried to make it back to Germany, but he was captured on May 22, 1945. For his war crimes, Joachim Piper was sentenced to death at the Malmedy Massacre trial in the year 1946. His sentence, however, was overturned to 35 years in prison before it was overturned again in the year 1954 to time served. After his release, Joachim Piper, who remained a convinced National Socialist, did not publicly associate with his ex-comrades, but secretly helped to suppress documents proving guilt of war criminals. He got fired from jobs at both Porsche and Volkswagen for his war crimes during the Second World War. In the year 1972, Joachim Piper immigrated with his family to France. And after he was recognized about two years later by a former friend, member of the French resistance, his whereabouts were published by a French communist newspaper in the year 1976. Joachim Piper reacted by sending his family back to Germany. And on July 14, 1976, Piper's house was the center of a gunfight and later that day was burned down. French authorities discovered a charcoal body whom died of uh, smoke inhalation. Joachim Piper died at the age of 61. Although it's pretty obvious that the found cor corpse was Piper, some doubts remained uh, with the French authorities. Uh, thank you so much for watching.